Okay, this radio is for Chad. This is a Cobra 148 GTL. It's a later model. It's a Malaysia made. And uh, we did the DDS VFO from uh, Troy Radio. He puts the kits out. And uh, I am a dealer for them. So you could either get the kit from him or me if you're sending a radio in to me. If you're doing it yourself, obviously, um, you know, just go ahead and order it from him. DDSVFO.com is his website. And. Um, He'll get you taken care of there. But yep, we went with the white display for the uh, DDS VFO. And then I did a white meter light here. And we also did a white receive transmit. And then it goes to uh, red on, on uh, yeah, white on receive, red on transmit. I don't know if I just said that right or not. Okay, let me get off the monitor channel. Now, um, one of the thing. now this has the RFX 95 HD on the back. I also did. One of the things some people ask is, about the clarifier okay i just want to touch on this quick you can do it kind of a couple of different ways um it's kind of just personal preference on the operator how you want it set up right now i have this as just receive when it's in channel mode and when he goes into dds or uh, i'm sorry <laughs> when he goes into vfo mode uh it's unlocked so then it'll move receive and transmit but you could do it so that it's unlocked in both modes channel mode which is what we're in now and uh, VFO mode, which would be this. Okay, so you're always unlocked in this mode, but channel mode, you can choose how you wanna do it. Um, so let's just, yeah, I mean, basically, uh, you know, all the same stuff that you're used to seeing. Uh, if you wanna get to the scan or spectrum, you do have to be in channel mode, and then you hold it couple like two seconds and then it'll come up to scan uh, menu scan you can do all channels and then uh, you could do your spectrum obviously I'm hooked up to a dummy load right now we're not going to see anything I could switch it over to the outside antenna and we could see the signal um, different signals coming through here scan though okay so I have the squelch up right now so it's scanning automatically then if something broke the squelch it would just stop then you, you know, Put the squelch back up it'll start back up again on its own okay but i mean you got to really have really strong signals coming through to break the squelch so um, what i kind of like doing i rather just do that i like that spectrum instead of just the regular channel scan I like the spectrum scan and i will hook up to the outside antenna and demonstrate that but let's just see what this thing's doing for power right now let me get off the scan we'll go to like um channel 20 okay we're on AM. Now he did something. He he's this is the second radio he sent in to me. Um, this is something to think about, guys. This is what he does. He installs the RFX 95 HDs like 99% of the way, and then he just has me hook up the um, power feed to it because he's not sure on where to hook that up. So that's fine. I just I'm not even um, then I you know you, you don't get charged for anything with the RFX 95. Okay, so he installs his own, then sends it in to me for the tune alignment, and then on this one we did the DDS. But um, yeah, you could always do that um, if you want to do the, the mounting part yourself or whatever, save yourself some money. Okay, so we're on AM. Here's what we got for a carrier. It's going to be um, between the 15 and 20 watt mark. We're at 14.2. Remember that's off by two tens. It looks like right at 19 there. All right, turn up the mic gain, talk into it. Radio, 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 one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, nice forward average RMS swing there. Uh, good peak, obviously, audio, audio check. I mean, it's an RFX 95, so we're right where we should be, 95, um, anywhere 90 to 100 watts is, is where these kits usually end up uh, I think the most I've ever seen out of one was like 125 all right we'll go over to sideband real quick here audio 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 one two three four five yeah she's hitting hard one two three four five so again between that 90 and 100 mark on sideband um, there's really not too much else to say I got your LED on the bright dim there that does work um, yeah let me just show you that spectrum scan and um yeah that's i mean pretty much it 
So let me get the um, radio hooked up to the outside antenna here. All right, so I'm on the outside antenna. I'll turn the volume up so you could hear guys coming through. Okay, but well, we're definitely. All right, so hold this. And this comes up, and then we'll go to Spectrum All Channels. Hit that. And you'll let more signals through if you have this higher up. And you could adjust your, your, you know, what's what signal strength you want to let through right here. See this little bar here on the side goes up and down when you turn this. Okay. So now it's scanning everything because I have I have it all the way up right now. So I just come down a little bit with it. And they don't tell you what channel it's, I'm gonna just turn it down right now. But um, it's really hard to see, but you could, this is actually having a hard time um, even zooming in. Let me zoom in here if I could. Yeah, okay, so now you can see, so channel two right there, channel six, and channel 12, we got a good signal on something, but this is my preferred way of scanning the band, so to speak, is doing it this way. I just think it works a lot better than the um, regular channel scan with having to break the squelch. I think this is a much better way to scan the band for um, who's out there talking, what channels have, have skipped coming through, stuff like that, okay? so. Um, that's one thing that I, I forgot to mention in other videos, but yeah, that, that works really good, that feature. All right, so uh, that's pretty much it for this one. And of course, we have Roger beeps, all that other stuff in the menu, full, you know, I, um, all the kits come with that. Uh, however, I, I forget how many, like 15, 20 different Roger beeps and uh, stuff like that. So, yep, you're all set. And if you have any questions, let me know. Um, Mail-ins right now, guys, are on hold again. Uh, shelves are full. So um, thank you, thank you for everybody that sent stuff in. Just try to, uh, if anybody's still, uh, stuff is on its way, just I hope it's packed well because stuff's been getting uh, torn up, you know, beat up lately. So just uh, try to pack it up as well as you can. But thank you, guys. I got to get that raffle going for you as, as well. That's the... Uh, the next video that will probably be coming out is the raffle video for the uh, four pill and it is going to be an RCI 2950DX6 radio and like I said, I don't think I'm going to get that power supply done in time, but if I do, I'll, uh, I'll throw the power supply in too. So uh, I just want to pick a good time to uh, put the tickets for sale because I know a lot of guys um, it would work and time zones and stuff like that, just trying to pick a good time for everybody. All right. Catch you in the next one, guys. Radio Garage, we're off the key.